One thing that stuck with me the entire summer is something Alok Modi said. And he said, as long as there is suffering, I know my place in the world. What appealed to me about the fund was the passion behind it, Alok's passion, and his family's passion to make sure that his vision didn't die. And his vision was carried out with um, other Duke students. My name is Sneha Shah, and I'm from Chicago, and I am a junior this year. I am an economics major and a chemistry minor following the pre-med track. I am fortunate enough to have been the first recipient of the Alok Modi Global Health Fund. This past summer, I traveled to Nama, Uganda, which is a small village about two hours outside of Kampala. And my main project was working on a emergency medical insurance program. What I wanted to look at was what were causes of maternal mortality and what were people's perceptions on maternal mortality and whether or not to go to the hospital or to use a traditional birth attendant. What I was surprised to find is most of the mothers I talked to, I talked to about 50 mothers in the community, most of them wanted to go to the hospital to deliver. The problem was that they weren't able to get there in time. Many people didn't like the idea or didn't find it feasible to put down an amount of money for potential risk in the future. So this idea of an insurance, it works in our community because we are risk averse and we can afford to be risk averse. But the problem is that in Nama and in many African communities, it cannot be a part of their life because risk is so inherent to their day-to-day -day activities. So some of the essential feedback I got from the community was that while this is an amazing idea, it might be something to work towards more than just start right off the bat. There were many times where I just, I didn't know what to do next. I didn't know what to do to really help the community. But keeping in mind Alok Modi and his family and knowing that they had faith in me and in the community to be able to do something, that kept me going. And honestly, because of this fund, I was really able to transform my view on a lot of things. I went in thinking that, you know, failure is an endpoint. But I left realizing that failure is just an indication of new opportunity and the need for flexible action plans. At the end of my time there, we were able to actually enroll a few people in a trial emergency medical insurance program. That went really well. After I left on um, end of, I think end of August, one of the moms who signed up with our program delivered her baby in the hospital and we were able to transport her to the hospital. And um, she, both she and her baby are healthy, which is really exciting. What we're looking at now is finding an NGO partner. We actually did find one. They're called Men Fighting Against Maternal Mortality During Labor, which is great because we really need men in this fight as well. And we are thinking of developing mama kits. Mama kits are basically kits that include all of the different items that women need to bring to the hospital. And the tragedy is that many women are turned away at the hospital because they don't have these materials. So having these materials available near or at the hospital for women to buy when they are in labor might be a really great idea. I'm working with the next group of students who will be going to NAMA this summer to kind of follow up on the project. Their genuine passion and their genuine desire to help each other and help us was inspiring. And quite honestly, they had all the resources and all the solutions and all the bright ideas. All they needed was someone to help connect all of that. All we were were just catalysts. We weren't there to fix the problem. We were there to help them fix their own problems. So that was really what this fund was able to do for me and for the community. And I am so grateful.